guys welcome back to my channel i'm carly the owner of carly's creations and today i'm going to show you how to make these cute little mason jar tumblers with the ice cubes and the fruit on top they're surprisingly very easy to make and i had probably way more fun than i should have with this one um and i'm gonna try desperately not to keep it but this will be up on my site so i will take you step by step show you how i made it um, I will also have kits available on my website that include the fruit and the ice. So that way, it hopefully it makes it easier for you guys. So you're not having to buy like five pounds of the ice. Um, and you can just buy a little kit if you're just wanting to make a couple of them. So those will be available on my website. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, let me know below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do upload every Friday with something new and fun. And in the meantime, let's get started. Here's our tumbler, all prepped and sprayed with fun bright yellow. We're going to use this color from Peachy Olive Glitters, and we're going to apply our glitter here with the epoxy method. Like always, just make sure you spread a nice, thin, even coat of epoxy onto your tumbler. Make sure you get a good coverage with your glitter, and then we'll be ready for the next step. With chunky glitter, you always want to make sure that you do pat down your glitter. So I always take a clean gloved hand and just gently pat all around my tumbler. Make sure you don't rub, you pat and squeeze that glitter down and it will make your epoxy process a lot easier on this next step. So now that that has cured, we're going to go ahead and tape off the rim here. And I just used my Frogs painter tape here. This is my favorite painter's tape. It works really well. And just go up right up against the edges here and press down really nicely right up to the top of the yellow. You'll see how I do that here. And then we're going to go and apply two coats of epoxy until we get a nice smooth surface. Now that we have a nice smooth surface, we're gonna apply our sticker here. And I did get this image from Etsy, and I will make sure to link that down below for you. And I printed it on my sticker paper. It's a white glossy sticker paper that works really well. It's a very cost efficient way to do images like this without having to buy the expensive printable vinyl. And I'm just gonna rub down in the middle and just very carefully rub from one side to the other, making sure that I don't get any creases or bumps in my image. Then we'll do the same process and apply another coat of epoxy and our cut part will be done. Our tumbler part is done, so let's get the lid done. Here's what the blank part of the lid looks like. We're gonna use these fake lemon slices here. I will have wedges and full slices available in the kits on my website. I am gonna apply it with the E600 glue and a popsicle stick and our giant bag of ice here. I find that this glue works really well because it goes on clear and it doesn't leave any residue and it sticks really well so you don't have to worry about your ice cubes falling off. I'm going to take a handful of my ice cubes out and I'm going to line them up on the top of the cup to just see the placement as to where I want to get them before I start to glue. And then one by one I will apply the glue to the ice cube and then get that situated right there on the top of my cup. Once I get my ice cubes glued on, I do wait about a half an hour just to make sure they're a little bit more secure before I do apply the glue to my lemon. 
And a word of advice, make sure you screw on the lid to your tumbler to make sure you have the right placement for your lemon. <laughs> Once we get everything glued, I am gonna wait about 24 to 48 hours without touching it, just to make sure that glue is really, really stuck on there. And then you're safe to deliver it to your customer or for shipping. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know below. I had a lot of fun making this and I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to join us on Facebook at Carly's Creations, Tumblers and more. We have an awesome group of crafters and just have a really fun time over there. So we hope to see you over there. And until then, we'll see you on the next video.